Hello Skylanders community, I have a very special announcement to make. Heartbreaker Buckshot works now! Yippee! Sorry, wait, Boomerger just made a video about that? Okay, uh, Heartbreaker Buckshot still works. Maybe better. This is a method different from the RAM exploit that Text had made. It can only be done with a hacked Wii U or Simu, but works consistently and lets you save data back to the card the way it's supposed to. It also lets you use the five unreleased creation crystals and add them to your collection, as indicated by this helpful pointer and circle diagram. Here's how you can do it. First, you need to boot into Tiramisu, which is different from Aroma, which is the default environment for modded Wii U's. To check which one you have, boot up your Wii U and hold X. If you see Tiramisu, you're good, but if the words Aroma are green, either move the default to Tiramisu with Y, or install Tiramisu if you don't see it from the Wii U hacking guide. Now just turn off the Wii U and put the SD card into your computer. Keep in mind that you can go back into Aroma if you want to stop using Heartbreaker, but you have to use Tiramisu if you want to use Heartbreaker. Next, I want you to download these three links as fast as you can. They're all in the description. Okay, go, 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 go. Download, 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 download faster, God. Download, oh my God, oh my God, keep downloading. Right click, download, 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 you can do it. Download, download, download faster, download, you can do it. Come on, you're almost there, download. I'm just joshing you, you take your time with those downloads. We wanna make sure that you're getting the right thing in the right places. Next up, extract the Wii U plugin loader zip file. Open it up and drag and drop the Wii U folder into the root of your SD card. And then go into the Wii U folder and just create a new folder called plugins. Make sure that's all lowercase, exactly spelled the way that I spell it, P-L-U-G-I-N-S. And then go into the plugins folder and drag and drop the cafe loader.mod. Then go into the root of your SD card. And then create a new folder called cafe loader. That's all lowercase. Make sure you type it exactly as I've typed it there, no spaces or anything. And then you're going to want to make a new folder with the title ID of your Skylanders Imaginators game. So there's only two, there's one for the US and there's one for Europe. So make sure that you have the one that is for your region, but you can't mess this up at all. No extra spaces or anything. You can see I highlight it here just to make sure that I didn't mess it up. So both of the title IDs will be in the description. Make sure you grab the correct one. And now finally, extract Heartbreaker and then go to the Wii U folder. Choose which version of the game you're playing. That could be base, demo, or update. More than likely, it's just gonna be base, or I recommend playing on the update so you can play him in the Lost Imaginite Mines and Cursed Tiki Temple. Just drag and drop the patches.hacks file from the update folder and put it inside of that folder you just created. Then just hit him with one of these, the old take it out of your computer and put it in the Wii U shuffle, uh, works every time. Make sure you're booting into Tiramisu for this part. Again, Heartbreaker doesn't work unless you're in Tiramisu. Then you just go into the homebrew launcher the way you usually do. I do that with Me Maker. Scroll on over past all of your other homebrews to get to the Wii U plugin loader. Wait for it to load up. Uh, it took a really long time for me for some reason. And then once it loads up, just click on the blue switch and turn on the patch. Press plus and then you get out of there and it saves the patch for you. Unfortunately, you will have to do this every time you turn on your Wii U. It doesn't save after it boots off, but it's a pretty quick thing to just go in there and turn it on. Now, I'm not comfortable giving out a dump of Heartbreaker Buckshot, but I can show you how you can make your own. However, if you sell the dump on eBay or any online shopping website, I will personally find the listing and go to your house and scream at you. I can be very loud. You have been warned. To make a dump of Heartbreaker Buckshot, all you need to do is download Dolphin Emulator, go over to the Tools tab, Emulated USB Devices, and then click on the Customize button at the bottom of the Skylanders portal. Uh, just copy the ID from 
the left and the variant from the right and just paste it in create and then it'll save it as a dot sky file just put it somewhere you can access it maybe rename it to dot dump if you want but whatever works and then write that dump file to an nsc card boom you're done now all you do is just put the card on the portal and it just works. It's awesome. Just make sure you don't turn off your Wii U because then you have to turn on the patch again, which like takes a second. So yeah, congratulations. You got Heartbreaker and all of the unreleased creation crystals. In comparison, making Heartbreaker work in Simu is a cakewalk. Just drag and drop the patch from the Simu folder into your graphics pack folder and the Simu installation and just close out Simu, open it again, and then right click on Skylanders Imaginators, edit graphics packs, and make sure that graphics packs ASM is clicked. That's it. Then generate a new file of Heartbreaker Buckshot unless you want to use a real portal and an NFC card. Just click on create, copy paste the IDs again for Heartbreaker Buckshot that's 618 for the character ID and 21516 for the variant ID. Save the sky file wherever you want. This sky file cannot be written to NFC cards, only in Simu, so do keep that in mind. But all you need to do is just press load when you want to reload the same heartbreaker file that you were using earlier and it will all work in simu wow As for those of you playing on the Nintendo Switch, there is hope. A final patch will hopefully be released one day, but for now we also have a save file for Skylanders Imaginators on the Switch that will have Heartbreaker Buckshot already loaded in, so you can just import that into a hacked Switch. I don't know how Switch modding actually works, so this tutorial doesn't cover that, but a link will be in the description if that's your cup of tea. Now this is far from the full story. Another video will hopefully be coming out in the next few weeks about why Heartbreaker wasn't released sooner, why he never released to begin with, some basic cybersecurity, senior thesis projects, astrophysics, and the shady dealings of an especially fickle garbage man. I'm so 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 excited to finally have a release of this guy, but I could not have done this alone. I would like to thank Math, It's Secret Nate, and Rafa for getting a nearly identical patch to work at almost the exact same time as we did. Uh, insane coincidence, but hey, I mean, the more heartbreaker, the better. Nefarious tech support for understanding Ghidra and just being awesome and making like every single Skylanders tool. Music Disc for helping find the security check. Winter Nombre for making the patches for Heartbreaker. Color for helping out with Ghidra. Moro Best for helping with RPCS3 stuff. XX Just Jess XX for RPCS3 stuff as well. Miracle for discussing security with me. Dark Demona for the discoveries about the racing mode, Skylanders NFC, It's Secret Nate, and Math for the RPCS3 method, Abood for helping with Cafe Loader, Mashell for creating a ton of Wii U tools, you probably wouldn't be able to hack your Wii U if it weren't for this guy, Iceman for explaining some information about cybersecurity keys, Skylanders NFC for the character IDs of unreleased creation crystals, check out their website in the description, Hexthead for the RAM exploit, Zillion for teaching me more about NFC cards, and my friends and family for listening to me yap about this for the past four years. Thank you for watching, everybody, and happy Valentine's Day.